So you're using Zoom on a Mac, and you want to be able to use a software like CamTwist as a virtual camera input into your Zoom conference or meeting. And you're trying to figure out how to do everything. You want to get videos with audio input going in, and you want to be able to talk over the top of that. Step one, what we want to do is we need to download Soundflower, which is a, a, little, a little plug-in for Mac, specifically for Mac, that allows you to have several inputs and outputs. We can post this, this website address on our description, and basically you want to download that and install it. That will give you a little feature that will allow you to do all the things that we're going to talk about right now. So we have Cam Twist, our step on Cam Twist, and we want to make sure that we set our output to the two-channel sound flower. This will make it so if we play a video, this video feed will have audio coming through. A very important thing you want to make sure you do is set your mic input as Soundflower 2 channel. We want to make sure that we adjust this advanced setting here. This advanced setting, make sure that you have this box clicked. You want to turn on original sound and that will make it sound just like the video is supposed to sound, okay? That makes sense? Then, what if we want to talk over the video? I haven't found very good sound input tools on CamTwist itself. So what I do is I use GarageBand. I open up GarageBand. You have to have it open while you're doing this. Um, set our input on preferences. On Up here, you'll get the access preferences. Make sure your output is two-channel uh, Soundflower. Make sure your mic input is the one you want to use for your voice locally. Uh, here I'm using my MacBook Pro microphone. And then we have an audio track here that we want to make sure that we set this live sound monitoring button activated. And now we have a nice mute button. We can, we can mute when we want to. We can also just unmute and say, describe the video, whatever you want to do. One important thing, make sure that you do a Zoom conference with yourself to test all these different tools because you might not realize if your audio is working or not. And the only way to know is by listening to it like on another device, a phone, another computer, or what have you. So hopefully this helps you, uh, some of you advanced Zoom users out there.